Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to reinstall the Microsoft Edge web browser on your Windows computer. So if you're having any problems, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle here. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by right clicking on the start button. And you want to left click on where it says file explorer right here. Okay, so now that we have the File Explorer window open, you want to click on this View tab at the top. So left click on that one time. And now you want to check mark where it says Hidden Items. So check mark inside Hidden Items right here. And now you want to go and you want to navigate through going to this PC on the left side. Go underneath whatever your local disk is in here that Windows is installed on. Most people should be the C drive. So you're going to double click on that. And then once you have gone under that, you want to go underneath your users folder. Double click on that. Then you want to go underneath your username. My username is John Smith. So I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to go underneath app data. Double click. And then you want to double click on the local folder. Now you want to go underneath packages. And now you want to go underneath Microsoft dot Microsoft Edge and then with this underscore 8WEKYB3 so on and so forth. So you want to left click on that folder and you want to right click on it. And now you want to select delete. So again you want to delete this folder. You want to select continue. Okay, so once that folder is deleted, we can close out our File Explorer here. And now I'm going to go into the Start menu, and you're going to left click on the Start button to open it up again, and you're going to type in PowerShell. Best Magic comes up should say Windows PowerShell directly above Desktop App. So you want to right click on it, and then left click on Run as Administrator. And if you receive a user account control window asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, you want to select Yes. So now that we're in this elevated PowerShell window, I'm going to have this command pasted in the description of the video. I want you to do exactly what I'm going to show you right about now. And I want you to copy this text like you would any normal copy and paste. So you want to copy this from the description of the video. And then you want to go up here to the top of the PowerShell window. You want to right click on the bar, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. And then once you pasted it in, it should begin running this operation. So you just want to be patient here. This will take a moment. And then once it's done, you'll see the blinking underscore icon right here. So you can close out of the Windows PowerShell window. I'd recommend restarting your computer at this point, and hopefully you should be good to go. So again, I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.